the king is back borrow evolved found a new way with this sharp cut and then hiding behind isagi and then coming out of nowhere as his new evolved weapon right now who are we gonna pick i think it's gotta be chikiri it's not gonna be Rayo. and kunigami i feel like already overlaps with borrow doesn't make sense let's begin today's reaction who are we picking <laughs> It's gotta be Chigiri. He's the most useful. It's the thing that we don't have. Why couldn't you got me though? But like you can already have like, uh, like true, but I think the speed is more valuable. Speed, speed, Chigiri, speed. They gotta just keep devouring each other. Then it's gotta be Chigiri. Oh, Ito Shirin. We gotta get back at them, man. Chigiri, Chigiri. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chigiri. Chigiri. Come on. Just say it already. Chigiri, Hyoma. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Why are you so surprised? Well, I guess Chigiri kind of feels. Did, did he bond with them too much? Yeah. Come on, just come over here. It's a better team. What, did you and Kunigami have a big bond? Like, I guess this is still a big deal. This is like Bachira, you know, and Isagi getting separated, kind of. Like, remember, that shit hurt me, so I can't be, like, too mean. Yeah. See, that's exactly what Bachira also said to Isagi, too. It's like, I'll be waiting for you. Come on, chase after. Kunigami's been taking a lot of L's, though. And Rail, I'm sorry. Reo, I'm sorry. Please stop taking it so personally. It's true, dude. It's because you don't have that super speed. You can't devour us. Bro, it's not. I mean, yeah, he did change, I'd say. Maybe that's the same goal. That's like, that's like the goal they made as a kid. But well, not even a kid, like a couple months ago. Reo's kind of right. You think just If you're going to leave, dude, just leave. ウェイ。ワクワクもしないのに気持ちだけ小さい。俺らの約束忘れてんの。俺の方じゃ。俺の I feel so bad. I feel so bad for Rayo, man. But it's kind of true, like... True, like... You, he doesn't have the potential to devour us. Look at this! You think he can compete? He can't! I think that's the end of Rayo. That's so sad. Like, his, his storyline is so fucking sad. Oh. Kunigami. Okay. You know what Kunigami said there is kind of correct too. Like you should never forget this image right now if you want to really move forward. Oh, wait, so this is Bachira's mom. <laughs> His mom's the one that told him about the inner monster in him. <laughs> I don't know if that's normal. Should you have an imaginary voice inside of you that talks to you like that? I... What if it starts to tell you, like, burn the school down? You know, I... Luckily, it's just soccer uh, oriented. There's a monster. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Oh, Bachira and Rin. How's Bachira doing? Is he keeping up well? Already? Borrow. <laughs> Making sure his bed is completely straight. Dude, this guy is ridiculous. Made Borrow is such a correct name. Ew. Could you put it in the watching machine? <laughs> no, you're the maid. Come on. Yeah, this is... Oh my god. It's so nice to have these kind of downtime moments too. Where, like... There, it's it's the comedy part, right? Like you wouldn't expect King Baro to act like this. The inter dynamics between them outside the games are so funny too. Oh, Baro, what's up? Little little dinner date with oh, we're sitting right beside each other too. Wow, the sizzling steak. Are we eating steak too? Yeah. Awkward. So awkward. <laughs> Say something, bro. Well. Yeah, I mean, we did bark back a lot and Baro kind of 
It was like, oh, oh shit, I wasn't the king after all. You know, he had all those moments. Yeah, maybe now it's a little awkward. This is actually so awkward. Yeah, maybe he respects us more. He is respecting us more. He would never ask us this. He would never ask that kind of question before, but now it's different. This is something that we would ask him, right? Yeah, I'm sorry we called you a donkey. I'm sorry, but it was so good. You, I mean, he started the whole donkey thing. Wow. Wow. Wow, Baro can take the criticism and move on. Dude, this is why I love Baro. Yeah, he's so cool. <laughs> See, he's not a sore loser. He just, you know what? I'll take the L. I have to move on. Thank you for that. Hmm? Oh, oh, stop it. Oh, oh stop it. <laughs> is he going to be all tsundere or... Oh, come on. He should bite that off the fork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He thinks he's a villain, but I doubt it. Nah. Baro's... <laughs> this guy is too soft. Secretly soft. Bachiro and Rin? Training. I wonder if Rin respects Bachira. Mm. Let's see. Mm. I mean, the fact that... The fact that he's even giving him the time to practice together, that means a lot, I think. Especially one-on-one -on -one specialized training like this. Hmm? Jesus. Okay. Relax! Jesus Christ, stop psychoanalyzing us, but maybe he's true. Oh, he had those eyes ever since a kid. What's the problem with them, though? Because everything is like, this is all great. Is it what Rin just said about how he wants someone else to play with him? They're not like you, man. They don't got an inner monster telling you stuff. We turned too casual about this. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> If anything, you should <laughs> oh. oh, no. Hey, come on. I mean, I mean, the fact that you got an inner monster in you telling you shit might, might be just a little bit weird, but I get what the mom's trying to say. That's actually such a good mom. That's a, such a good thing to say to your kid. The crippling weight of society. That's right, the dreams just become dead once you realize when you get older and you got all these different responsibilities. That's why you gotta try to keep that inner monster in you. I get what she's trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Even the mom right now is probably trying to cling on to that, that voice, you know, the dreams that she had. See? This is such a good parent. <laughs> the monster. <laughs> I still don't know about the monster, man, but it's cool. It's just a cool effect. <laughs> so ridiculous! What a ridiculous thing, but it's kind of really wholesome because he had no one to play with. And the monster was there. No, he'll just dribble up by himself. To the monster! But no one is there to catch it. That's, that pass is the right one, but no one could get there in time. Nah, nah. They can't play at his level. Hmm. If you think about it, then the monster right now could be Rin. Don't you think Rin is like another person that could play on the same level? Obviously on the same level with Bachira. I thought that maybe before it was Isagi and Bachira, but now if Rin is there, Rin can definitely be that monster and be there for him, right? Nah, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Stay true to yourself. No one can keep up with you. It's fine. Then he would eventually lose the monster. Oh man, no, I don't want the monster to go away now. What the fuck? No, everyone else is a weirdo. He's a little bit of a weirdo, but you know, he's not a weirdo. Noel Noah. <laughs> Messi. <laughs> No kid. <laughs> You're too slow. <laughs> oh come on! 
Oh, trust me, there's gotta be. There's gotta be multiple monsters here. I think Isagi understood him. At this moment when Isagi made a play to not hit Temple Monk and go for the other guy. Yeah. Ever since that, Bachir had such an interest in Isagi. The monster maybe, right? Yeah. With this backstory, this makes a lot more sense for how Bachir was acting in those earlier days. Finish him, Isagi. The monster is right there. So the monster was Isagi, huh? But he's on the other team now. But he's on the other team now. No. Maybe the monster will be Rin for now. Mm. Wow, even the monster gave him recognition. Man, you know how they talked about the monster in the earlier seasons? Um, I thought it was such like a funny thing to do, but now this like hits different with this entire backstory of how he was always lonely, but the monster was there and the dream of the voice was dying out. This hits so much different. We gotta get him back. We gotta get him back. But Rin is another monster, man. Rin is another monster, dude. He's not wrong, right? Is that a bad thing? <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say, huh? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I have an imaginary friend, and you know, he tells me things sometimes. Are you sure you're not crazy? Mm. Rin is so mean, man, but maybe there's a little bit of truth there. God, he's so cold. Yeah. That's right. A different kind of monster. It can be multiple monsters. You can have many monster friends, Bachira. Why not? Oh. Hey. Oh, it's been a while. But he's with Rin. He's cheating on us with Rin, man. Come back to us. Next episode, we're really going to fight them, huh? Oh, we're back. The route, the comeback, dude. The revenge matchup, but we got to win. It doesn't make sense to lose again. Bachira's aura. Man, again, like I said, the first episode, like the first half of the season where they were explaining about Bachira's monster just for a bit, I thought it was so ridiculous. Like, what is this like a shonen anime thing where it's like the inner demon, like your, it's your like QB, it's like this is your inner hollow, like what the fuck is going on? But no, not really. It was more of a friend that kind of like is his dream. And the more that he doesn't meet other people that think uh, like him or can't compete with him on that same level, the more that the voice drowns out and the dream dies out. But now Isaki's here and so is Rin. And then the, dr the monster story actually hits so different. It's so nice. Thematically, it doesn't make sense for us to lose because we already lost once to Rin. We have to at least tie or win. It doesn't make sense to lose and go back again, right? But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists to my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.